Hey guys, I'm back again with a little video. Uh, Weezing Ben, I haven't been making no videos lately. I went to got my wisdom teeth taken out. So, my whole face was swelled up like a balloon. I couldn't talk, couldn't see for a couple days. Uh, and on top of that, I'm still getting over a cold. And on top of that, it's been 100 degrees here in North Carolina where I'm at. But uh, I just got a quick video today. Um, the consequences of your hot and cold hands not working. Um, let me turn y'all around. We got a lot of Honda Accords. This was a 2002 Accord. Four cylinder. Um, I'm taking the motor out of it. It has a blowed head gasket. Um, I got the other motor over here. I'm going to clean it up real nice and everything. But uh, long story short. Let me take y'all in the car. So, I'm just going to tell y'all a fair warning. If y'all want to buy a 98 to 2002 Honda Accord, every single one that I've ever seen, or if yours ain't doing it yet, it's going to do it eventually. Your hot and cold hands right here quits working. It'll stay right here exactly where this one is. It won't never move. Sometimes you take your finger and flick it like that, it might work. But what happened was, this one quit working, and it the car overheated so bad, okay? This car overheated so bad, I'm going to show you what the hell it done. It melted the fucking spark plug wires. Just focus. It melted the spark plug wires in the freaking head they literally melted to the plugs in the head that's how hot this motor got so fair warning this is the consequences of your hot and cold hand not working on any vehicle but 98 to 02 Accord is the world's worst of y'all's hot and cold hands not working I'm gonna put an aftermarket gauge on this thing I'm gonna make a video of, of installing it and on top of that, the second thing that these cars have a bad history of is your fan switch right here sensor. They go out, but even if you put a brand new one on it, it might be something going on in the harness somewhere. So I always bypass this sensor. Well, I always bypass the sensor and it just makes the fans run all the time when you turn the key on. Though you always make sure your fans are blowing. Um, so what I end up doing is I probably just take this sensor out, leave it out, and put my um, aftermarket gauge sensor in here. So I'm going to make a video of doing that. But like I said, I'm back making videos. Um, I'm feeling good. No more pain, finally. I've been in pain for a couple of months. My wisdom teeth, they were just crooked and they just not been coming in right. I'm back. I'm closing in on a thousand subscribers. Um, and um, what else was I going to say? Oh, turn you on again. I got a Honda van right here. Um, we're going to fix this up and sell it. Whoever needs a car. This car, this van right here actually got donated to me. Um, somebody stole the Cadillac converter off of it. But I drove it down the road once. So drives fine. One thing it needs is a Cadillac converter and some axles. So I'm gonna fix this one up, fix that little dent right there, and sell that thing. And um and we'll go from there. Um oh yeah. So y'all want one more time, guys. I'm over the place today. My uh, my homemade lift, there's an update on it too. It's a freaking mess right now. I painted it. It's actually uh, um a wood sealant I put on it. So now when it when it rains. When it rains, I ain't slipping. Coming up here now, it's real tacky. It's like sand in the paint. So, the thing kicks butt, man. So, like I said, y'all need to build one of these. Pull the car up on it, do an oil change real fast. Oh, we got a little cat, too, somebody docked off. That's Twix. So, she's, part, she's the shop cat. Somebody threw her out on the side of the road. So, I took her in. Ain't that right? 
I done took her in and everything. Anyways, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Like and subscribe. I'm closing in on a thousand uh, subscribers. Thank you very much. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.